everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today we are going to share with you how to make this amazing, perfectly cooked, medium all the way through, air fried London broil in our San Hoya air fryer oven. And I can't wait to show you how quick and easy this all comes together. Okay, today we're going to be making a London broil in our San Hoya air fryer. And I'm gonna bring that over in a moment. I would like to thank San Hoya for sponsoring today's video. This air fryer is the one that I used to do the side dishes that I did for my Thanksgiving dinner. I also made that beautiful turkey roll in it as well, and it works really, really beautifully. I really like it because it's so huge, and you'll see it. If you didn't see that last video, I'll link it down below, and then you'll see it in a minute. We're gonna cook a London broil. Now, London broil is my favorite choice for a family-style steak because it gives you a good amount of meat for a little bit of money. It's a very reasonable cut of meat, and during certain times of the year, you can really get them at a good price. All I'm gonna do to this is season it with some of my with some of my homemade steak seasoning. I'm just gonna go ahead and season this very well. Now, when you season a steak, you wanna season it more than you think you need to because you're gonna lose some of this seasoning during the cooking process. And you also want the seasoning to penetrate into the meat very deeply so that you have good flavor all around. Also, my uh, London broil has been sitting out of the refrigerator for a couple of hours. You can take it out up to 30 minutes in advance and it'll just take the initial chill on it. You should never put cold meat on to cook in a hot skillet or on a hot grill. You're just gonna get a much more pleasant end result if you allow your meat to um, lose the chill before you start to cook it. So, I'm gonna let this sit with the seasoning on it while my oven comes up to temperature, and that's gonna take about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go get the oven, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, this is the Sanhoya uh, air fryer steam oven, they're calling it, and um, the last time we used it, we put it on the kitchen table because it's kind of big, but we're gonna go ahead and use it on the counter today. Um, because it really will fit in a smaller space. What you have to do is preheat this oven um, before you use it. And I have already set this for 12 minutes at 400 degrees, but all you have to do to set the temperature is press the temperature button and it's automatically going to um, figure it out for you. But you just hit the, the button until it reaches the temperature that you want and I'm gonna go with 401, and I'm gonna do for 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to cook our London broil. And when it comes up to temperature, we'll be ready to go. We'll be back when it's time to throw our steak on. Okay, our oven has preheated. So I'm just gonna place this London broil right down on the rack, and you can hear it kind of sizzling in there. And I'm going to set this, I'm gonna close the lid, I already set my time and it's at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna let it cook. I want my linen broil to be between medium rare and medium, so I'm gonna cook it to between 140 and 145 internal degrees when taken with a meat thermometer. This is your best friend in the kitchen. If you don't have one, you definitely should. This should cook it perfectly. And we're gonna come back. This already smells amazing. And we're gonna come back when it's ready and I'll show you what it looks like before we take it out of the oven. All right, this cooked for 15 minutes. I checked its temperature. It wasn't quite where I wanted it, so I put it in for an additional five minutes. And now it is uh, up to 130 degrees and it looks really nice. I mean, it looks great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna set it on a sheet pan and I'm gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes before I slice it and then we're gonna have our dinner. The beautiful part about this air fryer oven is that this bowl is glass and you can take it out and wash it by hand. You can even wash the bowl in the bowl and I'm gonna give that a try right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna see if they if it works what they say. I have some, this is warm water, okay? So don't put cold water in here if you've just done um, a cooking session. A squirt of your favorite dish soap and then I'm gonna put the lid down and I'm going to, we're not gonna set the temperature but we're gonna set the time and we're gonna start it. 
and you can see in the bowl the yeah. cyclonic action is starting to occur and um, and it should wash some of that stuff out of there you may just have to wipe it out a little bit basically it's going to clean it for you and then you can just dump it rinse it and dry it off so i'll be back when this is cleaned out okay our cleaning cycle is done i did actually put about four more cups of hot water in here and if it looks pretty good actually i'm going to dump it out but if you have a little um, sh schmutz on there that won't come off like with just the action of the water. I have a little scrub brush that we use um, to do dishes with and you can just go in there with your scrubby and um, and now all you have to do is take a couple of pot holders or oven mitts, lift that up, dump it in the sink or rinse it out and you're good to go. You should wipe down the lid with a damp cloth and then dry it and then allow your oven to air dry completely before you uh, store it away. So that is how you clean it and I'm gonna come back in just a minute with our London broil. We're gonna slice it up, we're gonna enjoy it, and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, our, oh look at that, our London broil has rested and now we're gonna slice it. You wanna make sure that you go against the grain and generally that means you're not, you're not slicing this way, but you're kind of slicing at an angle and that's gonna give you the most tender bite of meat. So, and I am a right handy, and it's all for the camera, so I'm doing it at this awkward, awkward angle. You can see that this is a perfect medium. In the, toward the center, it's gonna be more medium rare, so everybody's gonna get exactly what they want out of this large steak. That's gorgeous. I'm really pleased with that. I feel like I wanna take a taste of that. How about you? Okay, if I have to. I think you do. We'll give you the center cut. Mm. What do you think? Wow. It looks seriously tender. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. Wow. That's delicious. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish slicing this. Well, there you go. Instead of doing a full on plating, I went ahead and I just left it on this tray after I sliced it up because it looks so beautiful. So you guys, I have to tell you, as I was slicing it, this is perfectly medium all the way through. It's because of the surround heat and the convection air that it has cooked perfectly medium all the way through. And I'm super impressed with this particular application. I just feel like cooking this linden broil in the air fryer was a true test of its abilities and it certainly passed with flying colors in my opinion. Now don't get me wrong, it's never going to replace cooking on the grill, but in the dead of winter when it's really cold and wet and rainy outside, who wants to go out there and fire up the grill? We're just not in a position to do that. We don't have a covered deck, we don't have a covered patio, so air frying it like this is awesome. I really want to try some burgers in it and see how it does. Um, the turkey roll I thought was an excellent test and it came out incredible. That was amazing. But this steak is really delicious. Evenly and perfectly cooked all the way through. I highly recommend. If you are in the market for an air fryer or if you have been toying with the idea of getting one, this model is definitely a, uh, an option for you because it has a huge vessel. You can cook a lot of food in there all at one time and I love that the, the glass vessel can go in the dishwasher, it can be easily cleaned, it's easy to clean in general. You know, if this fits into your life and you think you wanna give it a try, I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can get more information. They do sell this on Amazon. Yeah, I, I don't have anything but good things to say about this. So. Thank you to the people at San Hoya for sponsoring today's video and sending me that air fryer to give it a try and play with. I'm gonna continue doing that. And um, probably I wanna try burgers next, so we'll see what happens. So we're gonna be having these with latka waffles and some steamed broccoli, and it's all good for us tonight. So that is an option for a holiday meal plan for you. I hope you give this a try sometime soon. If you think you wanna give it a tr the, the air fryer a try, go down, use the link below, and you'll learn a lot more about it. So I hope you do try it. I hope that you love it. And until next time, happy holidays.